Hi, Aries. Welcome to May. We are almost halfway through the year. There's a lot going on. I'm doing this the day before the Scorpio full moon. So I'm doing this on May. You're reading on May 6th. And um, I feel like by the end of May for you guys, you'll have made a decision on a person um, whether you want to continue to spend your energy on this person, possibly an earth sign, or if it's time for you to move on to bigger and better things. And I think that the Scorpio full moon is going to be asking you a lot of these questions like... Do you want the hassle? Do you um, want to continue to give your energy away to somebody that's not bringing abundance into your life? Because you yourself are going for the gold. You yourself are going for the... <clears throat> long-term stability the long-term happiness there we go I'm like are we gonna are we gonna do a reading today is that what we're doing okay everything came out and this is sort of what i'm saying you guys because i feel like you're really up in your emotions in may and as you know it's, it's normal to be like that right now. It's That's just something that we're all sort of going through. Let's look at the cards really quick and we'll talk about them. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Pentacles. I like the money. I like the focus on the money and the stability. And um, wanting to put your energy into that. At the bottom row, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Five of Cups, and we have the Seven of Cups. So we have all emotions on the bottom row and all of the money and material stuff on the top row. <coughs> to be honest with you, Aries, I feel like this is sort of just two sides of you right now. Um... I think your focus on your long-term stability and, and um, the things that you are creating and manifesting right now is a solid goal to have. Like, let's do that. Let's focus on the coins. You know what I mean? The Six of Pentacles is asking you, where are you placing your energies? It's sort of a hierarchy system, right? That guy is giving to the beggars. Um, but do you want to be one of the beggars or do you want to be one of the people that's giving to the beggars? Or do you just want to have a life where you're not spending your energy on people that aren't giving back to you? Right? Why does it have to be in a hierarchy system? I know that's like the age old. I'm so humanitarian in that way. That's the age old question. Why do we have to have a hierarchy system? Why does one person have to be any, any better than another person? Something that will probably, that to me, that's bigger than like what's, what's the, um, what's the purpose of life. I think, why can't we all just get along? <laughs> it's like one of those elusive questions that we have in life. So the queen of cups is somebody who's extremely intuitive, but I feel like this person, five of cups and seven of cups, She's very intuitive, but she's very elusive. And I think that she keeps on disappointing you. And this doesn't have to be in a romantic sense, you guys. This could be like family members or friends of yours or coworkers or whatever, right? But that Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Um... The disappointment because this person just cannot, like I literally want to say <clears throat> with the Seven of Cups over here, that it's almost like they can't get it together. They can't get their life together. Everything is always in shambles. Everything is always ruined. And you're trying to find this stability, possibly trying to find stability with an earth sign 
or working for with an earth sign. Um, and then this person down here is just so much. <laughs> the other thing, are you regretting a decision that you wish you would have made, like you would have done something differently with it? And I know that that's sort of general and weird for me to just be so general about it. Um, because we all go through that where we sort of regret things like, I really wish I would have done that differently. I really wish I would have looked at that situation differently. And now you're trying to figure out how to backpedal. I feel like this is sort of backpedaling in a way. And it might have to do with a, a water sign. Like you might have realized that maybe something could have been said differently or maybe something could have been done differently. I really want you to be very discerning with that and not just be in your feels and your emotions from it. Because this Scorpio full moon is going to make us really, really emotional. And it's going to give us an opportunity to change things in our life, but we want to change the right things. Like we don't want to just make rash decisions and throw caution to the wind. And I mean, I know you're like, I'm an Aries. I always throw caution to the wind to make rash decisions and it always turns out fine for me. <sighs> Is it exhausting being in Aries sometimes? I'm just curious because you guys are always on the go. Okay. It's like boom, boom, boom constantly. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. You don't really know what to do about the earth sign. Okay. You got questions. And maybe you should ask them the questions that you're holding on to. That Knight of Wands on the Queen of, Queen of Pentacles. This person could also be really wishy-washy. And you're over here trying to build your kingdom. You're over here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, your focus is on money. Your focus is on building a life and building something that's really long-term and that's going to work out for you. The Ace of Pentacles on the Ten of I mean, how many Pentacles do you need to show you that? And, and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're solid in, in doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, if there are people in your life that are trying to knock you off kilter because uh, they don't know what they want in life right now, I don't want that to be your problem. I mean, if we're going to be honest with each other, I feel like you guys deserve more than that. Um, don't focus so much on the past that you start letting yourself fall back into a pattern of being miserable because of the pa the past is the past for a reason the past doesn't exist in the present time because it it doesn't resonate with our present moment in our current moment right the whole reason why the past stays in the past and we have to learn the lessons and then let it go is so that we can prosper and move forward but if you're still giving energy to somebody that you have really strong feelings for or you have a really strong connection with and it's stopping the flow of traffic when it comes to this money i honestly don't think that anything's going to stop the flow for you guys for money in may but if you're you are the only you're the person that is in charge of allowing that to free flow this way or free flow that way for some of you this might even be like um, like something that you've always kind of wanted to do. Because the Six of Cups can be um, a soul mate. It can be somebody that you have that really close, deep connection with. Or it can just be something from the past that's, that's resurfacing, that's showing up. But again, if that past doesn't jive or vibe, if you will, if it's not aligned with your present moment or where you're planning on going, like your future, if it doesn't vibe with that, I don't want you messing with it. Because <clears throat> I think that you could easily get yourself stuck in this Five of Cups moment. And I don't want you to do that. I want you to be discerning enough to pull yourself out of it. Okay. So here we are. This is, I had a feeling that the Queen of Cups was your energy. I think that you guys are really being very nostalgic and emotional this month. But at the same time, you're creating a whole bunch of abundance for yourself. 
And I think that might even be the reason why you're being nostalgic and you're looking back into the past. Having this emperor on the Queen of Cups. Um, I think one of the reasons why you're being nostalgic is because you're like, you're looking back in the past and you're, it's like you are seeing where you came from. You're seeing all of the stuff that you had to go through and all of the, you know, things that you had to do in your life to get to where you are. And I want you to, to rejoice in that. Like, that's the word I want to use. I want you to rejoice in that feeling. I want you to to allow yourself to see how far you've come. In fact, I'm gonna call the video Rejoice because that's what this is for you guys. And allowing yourself to let somebody else take that from you right now. The sun on the five of cups is saying that you can definitely heal from some things that you are, you were once focused on and you're no longer focused on it. And um, I don't want you to rush into anything. So we have the four of cups at the bottom of the deck because you are going to be fueled by your emotions this month. You will be super, super fueled by your emotions this month. Um... And the Knight of Swords on the Seven of Cups. Rushing into anything or getting really anxious because you don't have any answers right now is not going to help you. It's not going to help you get into the sun moment. Because the sun is sort of that aha. The sun is the clarity that you've been searching for. The sun is... Um, the hope and the existence, you know, that you have, you've been creating this life for yourself. And since you've been creating this life for yourself, it's very easy for you to um, remember how hard it was to get here. And I don't want you to get stuck on the how hard it was to get here. You know, when people do, like you're sitting with them and you're telling them a story about how really, how great things are going in your life and they, they keep trying to one up you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, or you say, man, I really had to go through some really tough things in the past, da, 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 da. And then you're like, oh, but you know, try like having to go through this instead of all, you know, it's almost like people want to outshine you with all the bad things that they've been through. I almost want to say that you're having that conversation with yourself, only you're not trying to outshine yourself. You're just, it's, it's like, um, you're trying to prove a point to yourself. Like, look how far I've come. Look how much I had to go through to get here. I'm not, you know, it's like you have, you're talking, you're giving yourself that pep talk and talking your, yourself into the fact that you're doing great and you're ha like, you have to keep on doing it to keep yourself out of the blues. And if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do. Like, that's where I want you to go with things. The Four of Cups and Justice and the Moon. Um, allow yourself to balance things out with this Scorpio Moon. Again, here's the Earth sign, right? I think that you sort of come to a peaceful acceptance about this Earth sign. Could even be a Sagittarius. And you almost realize that it was probably karmic and that it had to end, Okay. So we have temperance. I know I'm holding these cards up like, doo, doo, doo. we're going to talk about them. Um, but we have with the earth sign coming out, we have temperance, we have the devil, and we have the death card. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Capricorn, or um, a Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with a Libra or a Pisces. Leo. And <clears throat> I also want you to, you know, we have a bad habit. And I say we, this is a human thing, right? We have a bad habit of blaming the other person for our misery, right? And it doesn't matter whether it's like a romantic other person or if it's a friendship or if it's a career or whatever, right? What have you. We have a tendency to start to blame the things on the outside when our inside world isn't really necessarily working very well. 
Um, and I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to blame somebody else who really had no control over things that were happening in your life. Because I, there's this, there you can slip into a sense of lack mentality. When you start to blame somebody else or you start to say, man, they really wasted my time or man, I really should have listened to my gut when I did dot, da, dot, da, dot, da, dot, dot, right? Over here. <clears throat> the balance that you're going to find with the Scorpio full moon I want you to take some time to yourself today, tomorrow, the day after that. I want you to take some time to yourself and I want you to allow yourself to assess, like ask, you know, for this full moon, ask your higher self, what is it that I need to release for my best and highest good? In fact, that's what we did. Um, I did the Scorpio full moon ritual last night because I have my son um, tomorrow and I won't be able to do that with him around. <laughs> There's no way I could do a meditation with people, with him jumping around. Um, but that is available on the membership. So it's actually still available if you need to have a Scorpio full moon. It's still available to replay for tomorrow night. Um, or even tonight. You could even do it tonight. You can do it up to a week after the full moon. Um, but I want you to really ask yourself with this full moon to ask your higher self, you know, what is it that I need to release? And then I want you to write it down in a piece of paper and I want you to burn it and give it to the universe. And then allow yourself to align to your life, the life that you want to create, not the life that you thought you wanted in the past, the life that, because you're on, you're on track to doing that, but you'll do the hiccup thing, you know, you'll like do a little hiccup and, and, or trip a little bit and then fall back into thinking, well, what the hell is wrong with me? You know, why am I not good enough for this? But you are, you're absolutely good enough for this. So it is time for a rejoice. I know that sounds really strange in a pandemic like this, um, but um, you can still look on the bright side of life. You can still look on the bright side of things, even when your outside world looks like it's sort of shattering and falling apart. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, you, you can find peace on the inside, even if your whole world is falling apart. I've been there. Trust me, I've been there. I love you guys. Um, I would love to have you be a part, a member of the channel. Um, no pressure at all. But if you would like to join us, we have um, a Discord group where we talk about astrology. I'm teaching astrology. I'm also going to start doing um, tarot, teaching tarot as well. Um, and we just kind of like if you need a place to chat with some friends, with some like-minded individuals, we have a Discord thing. You can join that if you are a member of the channel. Um, we're also, I do daily updates when I don't have the youngest boy. I do daily energy updates and we have weekly meditations and we have members only live chats where we, I do one question personal readings. So I'm not doing personal reading, so that's the only way you can get a personal reading from me right now is to be a member. Um, and we do that once a month on Saturday. So this coming up Saturday is the live, the members only live. So I hope to see you guys there. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the join button just below here or you can um, go over to Patreon. That information is all in the description box. I love you guys so much. Please take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful May. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.